But what changes is the overall approach to the energy transition, which becomes more pragmatic and cost-focused. If we go into the specifics, we expect support for renewables like solar and wind to continue. We also might see um, a push in regulations for uh, carbon, car carbon capture and storage sector. But on the other hand, the party's more technologically neutral stance could mean that targeted support for specific technologies such as heat pumps or EVs or hydrogen could see some more friction. Germany's industry pays energy costs that are about three times that of the United States, about double that of China. What is the energy mix likely to be to try and address that cost? So Germany's electricity market is in a really tight spot because uh, its firm capacity shrunk by a quarter in the past uh, 10 years. And that's because they shut down all nuclear in 2023 and coal is also phasing down. So while solar and wind is increasing to replace this, Germany still needs a lot of dispatchable power to ramp up when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing. And so to address this, Germany could start building some new gas plants. And this isn't anything new. The previous uh, government also wanted to build new gas plants, but they wanted them to be hydrogen ready so that they could also contribute to a cleaner grid. Instead, Mertz um, is also supportive of new gas plants, but he doesn't want to force them to be hydrogen ready and would actually rather let the economics drive which technologies are actually installed.